Ah, ich bin Aymanu. Was ist das? I watch one of the Sofet videos of Sultan Olia Sheikh Nazim Adel al Haqqani, Rahimullah, where he said, I will test my murids. Being a recent murid of his, how I do I what? prepare? Bismillah ar Rahim. I watched one of the recent Sofet videos of Sultan Olia Sheikh Nazim Adel al Haqqani. Yeah, I got that. Only the last part. Uh, where he said, I will test my murids. Test. Test my murids. So yes. being a recent murid of him, how do I prepare for this test? How do we know we are into a test? I am worried that I may fail and disappoint him. My inclination is more towards failure because my ego is so strong and taken deep roots that it never listens to anyone. Jazakallah for your guidance and answering previous Bismillah questions. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are Ahlul Sunnat. We are people with manners. That's why it is very good to say we are not murids of Sultan al -Awliya. We are not his murids then he's not going to test you. You may say, we are murids of Sahib al-Saif, who is a murid of Sultan al-Awliya. Sultan al-Awliya may test Sahib al-Saif because he's a murid. Uh, how is that possible? They asked him, when is Mahdi alayhi salam coming? Shaykh Nazim. And Shaykh Maulana is saying, when I have 40 murids, The next one is going to be Hazrat in Mahdi. He has millions of murids around the world. But he says, when I have 40. That means that his murids are not even 40. He says, when I have 40. Real murids. So don't consider yourself. We are under his umbrella, of course. Just as we are saying, we are not Sahabis. We love the Prophet ﷺ, don't, don't ever imagine you're going to love the Prophet as the Sahabis love. Completely different, no? In Tariqat, it is the same. It's supposed to teach you this protocol. So if you say, no, I am the murid of Sahib al-Saif, ah, that time, Shah Effendi is saying, don't worry, we're not going to test you because you're going to fail. So, We are still babies. We are still learning. A, B, C, and one, two, three. And the teacher is not going to give the one who is in the kindergarten the test of someone who is in high school or in the university. You understand? Then again, it doesn't mean Shem Maulana is not going to. He has the right to go. Everyone who is under one of his wakils is indirectly his murids. He may, of course, I'm not saying what he will do or he will not do. But as it is the protocol in this dunya, the principal doesn't test the student, right? You think the minister of education or secretary of education is going to test? No. You think the president is going to test? No. Who is going to test? The teacher. The president may say, maybe, I like this student. Or saying, this student needs help once in a while when it's necessary to go directly. But everything that that student needs now, even if he goes to the minister of education or to the secretary of education, he's going to say, go to your teacher. Why are you coming to me? Everything is there. So there is, it's more humble. It is more direct also. Because what you want, you can directly get from your teacher who is getting it from the president. But if you go to the president, he's not going to give you. It's the more indirect way. Then you have to go back now to your teacher again. So... Shah Effendi is tough on us, he's training us, he's also very patient, and he's also very merciful, but he makes us to understand. And he's not going to give us something that we cannot carry. He's not. We are still trying to remember what he taught us, forget about testing. Uh, this should be enough, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.